Hello there guys, it's Matt here again, and welcome back for another Dark Horse Car Review. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Bobogo 124 scale Lamborghini Countach 5000. Um, so yeah, so here's the car in front of you, looking really awesome. Um, I know it's another Lamborghini, uh, but there you go, I love Lamborghinis. Um, so here, here you can see the car is in white, a really nice white actually. Um, I think you can purchase this car in orange and black. Um, they didn't look that good, so I just got, I just went for the um, nice white because that looked really cool. Um, so yeah, so I did purchase this car from ModelSupermarket.com, I think. Um, yeah, ModelSupermarket.com um, for about five pounds, which is actually a really good price. Um, yeah, but ele eleven pounds including the shipping, which is still pretty good. Um, but yeah, so there is a link down below in the description if you want to purchase this car. Um, so yeah, so this is actually a really awesome car. Um, probably my first classic Lamborghini, like old Lamborghini, because all Lamborghinis I have like a modern and out now. Um, but this is like a classic car, classic Lamborghini actually. I think it came out in 1988, I think. Uh, I'm not too sure about that, but I think it's around that time. So this is actually a really cool car. really love this car. Um, so yeah, so let's do the review. So here's the front of the car, looking really nice. Really nice front. I do really like the, this car actually. looks very nice. So here you can see this nice plastic window, which is made of a nice hard plastic there. And you, you can't really see into the car there. Um, no, you can't see in the car at all there. Quite hard. Probably gets all black inside. That's why. Um, so here's the front. You've got these nice lights. Pretty nice, nice plastic there. Uh, you've got the, this nice Lamborghini badge as well, which is actually pretty big. Um, you've got these linings across the front here. And these little rectangular ones here are actually the pop-up lights, which pop up, and they're, they're the headlights. So that's pretty cool on there. And here you've got all, the, all these other little parts, like little lights, little air intakes. That's that's really nice underneath there. It's really cool. And on this little bit here, this little metal plate looks like it should be a license plate there, a number plate. Looks like it should be there, but there's nothing there. So it's just a blank space there. So it looks really cool. And on the side, you can see that does look really awesome. Um, you've got these nice little wheels, really classic, like 80s sort of wheels. Uh, a bit plain, but that's what they're like then, and they're really cool. And they do turn left and right as well. Now these wheels do feel do feel kind of loose or like flimsy sort of thing. So when you turn them, they feel like they're going to break and make like a creaking noise. So that's kind of a problem, but they they they're, they're fine though. They're nice wheels as well, and the the car does roll nice and easily as well. So that's really cool. Um, so yeah, so here's the door. Really nice, cool looking door. Um, now, I really like these doors, because when I first opened out the packaging, I wanted to open the doors, and I thought that the doors actually come outwards, like normal cars. Um, but I tried I tried to open it, it wouldn't open, uh, but then I realised they actually open up, like that. And I thought that is really cool, because um, I actually didn't know, funny enough, that the doors open on the Countach like this. I thought they are just normal doors, but they open like that. So that's really cool, really like that. Um, and the doors do come up back that far, that's really cool. Um, so let's take a look inside can't see inside it because it is all black no you can't see inside sorry about that but it's all black um, there's not much detail in the car actually um, it's just painted black so you can see just just about see the seats there you can see the other bits in there quite nicely um, and the door does shut nice and easily as well that's pretty cool got a nice little window there as well a little air intake thing up the top here we've got the back wheels obviously the same um, nice little air intake there as well. Pretty nice side, actually, really nicely done. And onto the back of the car, looks very nice. Really nicely done. Uh, you got these big badges on the back here, the Lamborghini Ball and the Countach um, badge there. Now, the only bad thing about this, the back of the car, that these badges actually look big, too big, actually, because on the car, I don't think they'll be this big. Uh, maybe they are, maybe I've got it wrong, uh, but I don't think they'll be this big. Um, but it still looks really nice anyway, these badges, nice little silver painted badges. And you've got these plastic lights, pretty basic plastic lights underneath there. Uh, another bit I don't really like about the back of the car, that you can see this silver number plate, silver piece of plastic, um, which doesn't very look doesn't look very cool, um, doesn't look very really that good, so looks a bit cheapy. And this these exhausts underneath these exhausts underneath here. Um, do look a bit cheapy and plasticky as well because on some on my other cars they they are made of like a metal but now these are just made of black plastic so that's kind of strange that they're made like that um, but yeah I suppose that's the only bad bit but underneath is um, all the rest is like really nicely done so that's pretty cool and also you've got the spoiler as well which is really nicely done 
nicely done and on the top as well you can see that and then you've got the engine cover as well and also on the side here you've got these little um, engine cooling things like cool the engine down or something like that and you've got one on the other side there as well and down here as well pretty nicely got a lot of cooling places around the car and the engine cover does open pretty well actually and it comes up that far which is pretty cool and take a look at the engine inside pretty nicely detailed engine in actually pretty nicely detailed actually you can see that is really nicely detailed under there and the engine cover does shut nicely actually I really like the engine, the engine cover because it like blends in with the design and like falls into place sort of thing like when you close it like falls down so it looks really cool really nice design really like this car overall really nice design nothing wrong with it actually great paint job I really like the paint job on this car it's really a really nice clean glossy paint job actually really like it oh there was actually one chip on the back of the spoiler actually if you just about see that there there is, there's a little chip of paint there now I didn't do that that's really like that when I got out the packaging or the box um, but there's one little chip of paint there on the spoiler uh, but that's the only chip I found chip of paint I found on the car and that's we can't really notice it we can sort of but it's only a minor issue and also the spoiler is loose so it's kind of loose there don't you can see that but it, it does move a little bit and it's kind of not really annoying but it it's just a little bit loose I'll just thought point it out it's not a problem it doesn't get in the way or anything so that's fine as well so this is a really awesome car really nicely paint job really accurate to the actual car and I really love it um, so let's take a look in the passenger passenger door now this door is actually a lot stiffer than the driver side door um, when you lift it up it's a lot stiffer don't know why that is but there you go still goes up the same height and all that um, so here's inside looking really nice and all that and also you can turn the steering wheel um, and it does move the wheels So if can you, I can't really see that in there but if you turn the wheels like that it does turn the steering wheel um, you can't really see it because it's so dark in there um, but yeah so that's the car overall a really nice car oh, I forgot to show underneath so here's underneath a really nice detailed car actually underneath um, because underneath you can actually see um, parts of the car underneath actually because some other cars just mean like a sheet of plastic and now you can actually see like underneath here you can see like parts of the engine underneath there which is really nice actually really nicely detailed um, and then over here we got the Burgo Lamborghini Countach oh and it does say 1988 there we go I did get it right I think so anyway uh, 124 scale and made in China so there we go and you also got a peg hole. I don't know what it's for, but there you go. Um, so yeah, it's a really nice car overall. I really like this car. Really nice paint job actually. Glad I got it in white. And yeah, so overall a clean paint job. Really nicely sculpted. Very act to the car. And I recommend purchasing this car because if you love Lamborghinis, um, so yeah, I recommend purchasing, picking up this car. Um, it's a really awesome car to have in your collection. Um, so anyway, I think that pretty much does it for this review and hope you enjoyed I'll give this car probably a 5 out of 5 actually there's nothing wrong with it really apart from the loose spoiler and the chip on the chip of paint but that, that's nothing really major wrong with the car um, so I'll give it a 5 out of 5 awesome car I would recommend picking him up picking this car up and I think that pretty much does it for this review thanks for watching please rate, comment and subscribe and goodbye